I found Walter Disney's Frozen Face by Soul Studios. If anyone copy and paste this blog post someday, please make sure that I remain anonymous to prevent legal trouble with Disney as I have broken many rules in most of their parks. Sometimes I illegally release Disney films online on my own private website. It used to be public but I regretted ever making that website for pirating movies and Disney tried to take it down with a DMCA so I had no choice. I also stole some Disney products as I was outraged of their overpriced items and I needed a gift for my son a few days later and somehow I got a hefty fine instead of going in jail. I also was rude to staff members and littered all over the parks. I got at least two months of jail time because of all of these. In my last heist, I wanted to have revenge by sneaking into the employee only areas at Disneyland and sneak into the park at closing hours. So I did exactly that with an elaborate scheme. First off, I made a fake night access ticket and surprisingly it worked. Granted, the employee didn't seem to care that much. But hey, I wasn't so I took a few pictures here and there and filmed videos and I was able to lockpick an employee only area in an unmarked building that might seem like it was there for decoration. There only seemed to be costumes for performers and makeup accessories until I noticed a fleet of stairs that headed down. So I walked down there. It was a long hallway with pipes and offices that contained loads of legal documents and work computers. But at the end of the hallway, a red light illuminated the room and there stood a shocking revelation. It was a morgue that contained deceased clients that passed away at Disney parks. They were meant to be sent out to different locations to be buried. In the middle was the most frightening showcase I have ever seen. It was the frozen head of Walter Disney. He had that expression that lacked emotion and the smell was putrid. Underneath in the pedestal, there was electricity in what seemed to be organs. His eyes were opening and closing and the head let out some painful breaths. Before I could process what was going on, guards came in and kicked me out of the park and they threatened me to keep quiet about what I had witnessed. But no, I had to tell the truth. Walter Disney is about to live again to reign upon Disney forever.